Hello, this is Alexey. In previous video tutorials we create responsive company website from scratch with a blog, portfolio and upload it to the hosting. In this video tutorial we will talk about Joomla templates. Joomla template is an extension that provides website design. All fonts, colors, layout, indents, shadows, gradients and so on are included in template. There are templates for Joomla admin control panel and for the site, the part that all visitors see. Most modern templates also include animation for opening menus, pages, appearance and so on. Some paid templates sometimes include additional functionality. For example, page scroll button, social network follow buttons, off canvas menu and so on. Unfortunately, single template cannot provide an equal good look for any Joomla component or module, as it has a limited number of styles. Template contains styles for most extensions built into Joomla and for some specific ones that it is designed for. For example, for Virtua Mart. In the Joomla control panel in System, you can see site templates and site template styles. In my blog you can read about difference between template and template styles. Here in templates you can see the files and folder of this template. You can create overrides. Overrides can be used to make changes to source code of the template. This feature is for advanced users, so we won't stop on this. Updated files is also for advanced users and in template description you just can see short description and little image of this template. Also at the end of this video tutorial we will see how to create new files. And now let's go to template styles. So we can switch here or for example go here and select template styles. Here we can see two styles for this template. Now we have just one, only one template, Cassiopeia. This is built-in Joomla template and for this template by default we have just one style, but I create two styles. Here we can see some details. Also we can see some settings. For example, here I add tagline in English and in the second template style I add tagline in Ukraine language. I use two different styles for different languages. When I record in video tutorials in English I select this template style and when I record video tutorials in Ukraine I select this style. Let's look. Here is our page modules in English and now I will select this template. I select the style on Ukraine language. Let's go to modules and we can see we have some difference here. So that's why I'm using two styles. I will change everything back. Just select by default. And now let's see how to install different template. I will show you how to install RS Capri template. About RS Capri you can read in my blog and watch some overview video. You just need go to System, Extensions in the Install area and just drop down the template. After a few seconds you will see this page and now we can go to template and we can see two templates. Here you can see that files and folders tree are different than here in Cassiopeia. But here we can see the same override options, but in styles we can see new style and here we can see a lot of settings. We can change colors, 
font size, fonts. We can change advanced settings, for example, including Google Analytics 4 tag, changing fave icon. We can change some header options, social link options, widgets. We can see and change template positions, install simple data, and of course we can use menu assignment. About menu assignment we will talk in a few seconds. On the developer's template demo site you can see example of this template. Of course, you can change this template and it will look as you want and will continue not all of these elements, but elements you want, modules, components and so on. For example, the same template, but on my personal website, is look not like on the demo site. And now, if we apply this style, for example, to our modules page, update the page, and we can see that we have our template style applied to this page, and we can see that it looked not like on demo site or on my own site. The menu modules and other modules that we have in our Cassia PS style are disappeared here because the template module positions are called different than here in Cassia PS. About template model positions we will talk in a few seconds. And now let's see how to create different styles for one template. For example, we can say as copy. I will call it default to, just save it, let's update page here, and now let's go to template customization, let's select, for example, another colors hem, just save it, assign, for example, to the same page modules, update the page, and we can see that the styles will change. This is like this template looks before, now it looks like this. So, you can change any template styles that you have in admin panel and assign this style to different menu items. About menu items we already talked in previous video tutorial. You can assign the same template style for several menu items or for all menu items. If you want to assign this template style to all menu items, just select all of them and here select default, apply, and now this template style will be applied to all menu items. As I already mentioned, these templates ha have more settings than built-in Cassiopeia template. But both of them have same settings, for example, default setting and menu assignment. In previous video tutorial we talk about modules. When we talk about modules, I said that modules are located in template module positions. So, how we can see these template module positions? For example, often we can see something like this. Template positions. Here you can see the name of template position and you can use it in module settings. But what if we use the template that doesn't have such information. For example, Cassiopeia. There is no information about module positions. I will set it by default. Update the page. Here we can see our modules, but how you can figure out how this module position called. For this purpose, go here in options, 
Activate Options Preview Module Positions. Go back to Site. Add this query here and click Enter. Now we can see module positions. For example, sidebar left, sidebar right, breadcrumbs, menu top, and so on. Now you can use this module name positions to set up your modules. After you saw position names, I strongly recommend you to switch off this setting. And now if you click enter, you won't see this positions. This is for your safety. Now let's talk about template files. This is my local server site folder. Here in templates we can see Cassiopeia files and RS Capri files. You can edit here or use your hosting control panel with file manager or you can use Joomla. First I will select RS Capri as default style and template for all my menu items. And now let's for example change the size of this headline. There can be different ways. For example, go to settings, find h1 font size and set it for example like this. Update the page and we can see the size was changed. But in this way you can change a limited number of styles. If you're familiar with CSS you can edit any part of the page with CSS. But I'll show you how to create specific file and add it to Joomla. This file we will use to edit some additional styles to create override for CSS styles. Go to Templates, RS Capri. Here in Editor we need to create new file. We need to go to CSS here. I will show you in my local server. Of course you can create custom CSS file using for example hosting file manager or you can use these options. Enter for example custom, select CSS. Why I am creating custom CSS in CSS folder? Because before doing this I already read about this template in documentation on the templates developer website, so I already knew where I need to create this file and what name I need to add for this file. In your case it may be a different file name, different file type and it may locate it in different folder, so first just read a documentation. Click Create and we can see that our template RSCapri CSS is now contains custom CSS file. Let's look. Yes, we have this file. Now we can edit some styles. Just for example, we can use some CSS. And now we can just copy it here, save, update our page and we can see our changes. And at the end of our video tutorial let's see how you can delete template and all of its styles. First of all you need to set different template as a style by default. Here click default and now go to system. Here in manager sector select extensions, filter options, select type, 
Templates, select our RS Capri and click on Install. And now we can see that there is just our Cassiopeia template and our Cassiopeia template styles. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. In next video tutorial we'll talk about Joomla users. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.